When the Tesla Model 3 first hit the road back in 2017, I called it the most mind-blowing futuristic car on the market, mainly because of a single hidden feature in the car that Tesla wasn't really talking about publicly. Well, in this video, I'll go over what that feature is and what it means now that it's finally coming to the Model S and Model X. One of Tesla's best advantages is its advanced driver assistance system called autopilot or full self-driving, where the car is able to accelerate, slow down, keep lanes, and even navigate and drive itself on certain roads. To achieve this kind of advanced driver assistance technology, all Tesla vehicles are equipped with eight exterior cameras along with a forward-facing radar. However, there are currently two Tesla vehicles, the Model 3 and Model Y, that have an additional camera that the Model S and Model X don't have have an interior cabin camera. Now, this camera is very small and hard to notice and it's located just above the rear view mirror. Now, even though it is briefly mentioned in the user manual, I'm willing to bet there are Tesla owners out there who do not know about this camera. If you're one of those Tesla owners, don't be shy. Leave a comment below and let me know. So what does this interior cabin camera do? Well, for years it didn't do anything and was actually disabled, but not too long ago, Tesla released a software update that allows the driver to enable the cabin camera, but only for one particular purpose. The Tesla support webpage states the following. Model 3 and Model Y are equipped with a cabin camera that is located above the rear view mirror and turned off by default. If you enable the cabin camera, a short video clip will be captured and shared with Tesla following a safety event such as a collision or an advanced emergency braking event. This short video clip is intended to capture the few seconds before a safety event and does not include any footage from the safety event itself. These clips will be used to help Tesla engineers develop safety features and software enhancements such as collision avoidance updates and more cabin camera images will not be associated with your VIN or any other identifying information. So the interior cabin camera isn't being used for an active feature, at least for right now. However, I do think the cabin camera will be used in the near future to finalize Tesla's ultimate plan. This is even more obvious now that last week a popular white hat hacker who goes by at green the only on Twitter found some Tesla code that points to the cabin camera finally being added to the Model S and Model X. To me, this pretty much confirms a couple of things. First, this is yet another good indicator that the new updated design or refresh of the Model S is coming very soon. Many people expected the new updated Model S to come in 2020, but unfortunately it didn't happen and was pushed back. Well, now that the new Model S Plaid Edition is set for release later this year, I think it's almost a guarantee that a newly designed Model S will come very soon. I also think the addition of the cabin camera to all the models means Tesla intends to add some additional driver assistance features. One of these features is something that many Tesla owners, including myself, have been requesting for a while, and that is driver monitoring for autopilot and full self-driving. Before we continue, I want to quickly tell you about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, which is a free fantasy role-playing game for iOS, Android, or PC. Use my links below to download Raid yourself while I tell you more about it. Now, the premise of Raid Shadow Legends is for you to save the world of Teleria by recruiting warriors and competing in battles. Raid has 13 different factions made of many unique champions, and your goal is to collect heroes from these factions to defeat your enemies. Now, one of my favorite factions is the Dark Elves, and I particularly like using Kale, who is a rare magic attack champion. Mikael can inflict a great amount of damage with his Acid Rain skill on multiple enemies, which makes him an excellent speed farmer to level up quickly. Now, this game sort of reminds me of Lord of the Rings, which I'm a big fan of, and it's fun to feel like I'm inside a similar world by battling amongst orcs, elves, and dwarfs. Plus, the visuals and graphics are some of the best I've ever seen. Now, recently, Raid got their biggest update ever, featuring the Doom Tower, so there's never been a better time to start playing. And the best part is Raid is giving away free goodies, including a special champion called Bulwark to help you get started in the tower. You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only, so if you want to get a head start in Raid, click the link in the description below. See, right now, Tesla Autopilot requires the driver to keep at least one hand on the steering wheel to let the car know that the driver is still paying attention and hasn't fallen asleep or something dangerous like that. Well, adding a driver monitoring feature to the cabin camera would allow the driver to choose how the car monitors the driver, either by keeping a hand on the wheel or by actively monitoring the driver's face with the interior cabin camera. You may think this sounds like an invasion of privacy. Oh, I don't want Elon watching me while I drive. Well, <laughs> that's not really how it works, but okay, that's fine. Maybe you can choose to keep the hand on the wheel setting, but for others, they may prefer to have the car monitor their face so they don't have to keep their hand on the wheel at all times. 
If you've seen my video where I compared Tesla Autopilot with the open source driver assistant system called OpenPilot, you'll know that OpenPilot uses a driver facing camera for this very purpose, to monitor the driver's face while the car is in control of the driving functions. And it works quite well from what I've seen. I think this would be a very welcomed new feature for Tesla's going forward. For example, when my wife drives my Model 3, she usually struggles with autopilot because her hand placement doesn't seem to satisfy the slight resistance on the wheel that autopilot requires. And if autopilot doesn't detect the hand on the wheel after a certain amount of time, it will alert the driver with visuals on the screen and through audible chimes, then it will automatically disengage. However, if Tesla gives us the option to enable the cabin camera for driver monitoring, it will make autopilot more versatile and they could also even make it safer by giving the driver the option to enable both the cabin camera and hand placement on the wheel. But that's not all the cabin camera would be for. It's also required for Tesla's next big goal, the Tesla RoboTaxi fleet, which is Tesla's future ride-sharing platform. It's kind of like Uber and Lyft, but instead of a human driver, the car will be driving itself, picking up passengers and taking them to their destinations without the owner having to be in the car. In Tesla's master plan, Elon Musk said this, when true self-driving is approved by regulators, it will mean that you will be able to summon your Tesla from pretty much anywhere. Once it picks you up, you'll be able to sleep, read, or do anything else en route to your destination. You will also be able to add your car to the Tesla shared fleet just by tapping a button on the Tesla phone app and have it generate income for you while you're at work or on vacation, significantly offsetting and at times potentially exceeding the monthly loan or lease cost. Now, up until now, the Model 3 and Model Y were the only Tesla vehicles that were designed specifically to join the future Tesla ride-sharing network, mostly due to their minimalist interior. Some people are turned off that almost everything in the Model 3 and Model Y is controlled through the 15-inch touchscreen, from opening the glove box to controlling the air vents to opening the trunk and frunk. It's all software-based controls on the touchscreen or the mobile app. Now, this is because they need to be in order for them to be utilized as a fully autonomous Tesla robo-taxi. With all the controls and storage units controlled through software, rules can be configured based on who is in the car. You see, the two biggest concerns with autonomous ride-sharing are theft and damage. The first concern, theft, is addressed with the software controls. You should be able to restrict or grant access to the trunk, frunk, or glove box through the software. An example of this came in a recent Tesla software update that allowed the driver to require a four-digit pin to open the glove box. But what about the other concern, damage to the car? Well, this is where the cabin camera comes into play. It should be able to see who is in the car at any given time and monitor what's happening inside the car at all times since all Teslas have built-in LTE connection and are constantly connected to the internet. All Tesla models already have the ability to record footage from the exterior cameras, which act like a security surveillance system for the car, which is called Sentry Mode. So now all Tesla models should have the new full self-driving hardware 3 computer chip plus the interior cabin camera, which should add up to solve the biggest concerns with autonomous ride sharing by giving the owner complete control via software control permissions based on who is using the car, automatic entry and identification via smartphone Bluetooth, and the ability to monitor the interior. From Elon himself, there will be a shared autonomy fleet where you can buy your car and you can choose to use that car exclusively. You can choose to have it used only by friends and family or other drivers who are rated five stars. You can choose to share it sometimes, but not other times. That's 100% what will occur. It's just a question of when. Tesla is not just making the best electric cars right now, but they are heavily investing in their ultimate plan of the future, which is to have the world's first fully autonomous self-driving ride-sharing platform what do you think of all of this? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more Tesla and tech videos in the future. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.